We're just a few days away from Call of Duty Next, where we'll be seeing our first looks at Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer experience, where we'll be seeing the likes and reveals for Warzone 2 and Warzone Mobile, as well as potentially more. So when exactly is this event? Where can you find all the important details as they happen? What more can we expect to see out of the event? Today, we're answering all of those questions and more as we break down everything that you need to know about the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. What are you most looking forward to seeing? Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, Warzone 2 reveal, that redacted information that's yet to be revealed. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful or it helps you out in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 2 and all things COD. I have the reveal in a few days, the beta of the day following, and the launch in just under two months' time now. We're chasing down half a million subscribers, so if you guys would like to join the community, I'd love to have you. And a reminder, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market, but more on them a little later. For now, let's talk about the multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 2. First up, timing. When is the multiplayer reveal date and specific times? Surprisingly, up until a few days ago, we actually didn't have any specific details on the actual hour and specific timing. We knew, of course, the date of the event. From the announcement at COD Champs, we knew that it would be taking place on Thursday, September 15th, but beyond that, we didn't know much more for the event in terms of timing. A few days ago, however, Call of Duty confirmed a bit further, tweeting hashtag COD Next live September 15th, 2022, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. Now, for those not on the West Coast, on screen will be a conversion chart for some of the widely populated areas that may accommodate you better. Had a little bit of fun with this one in Photoshop, so hopefully it's useful to you, but that 9.30 a.m. equates out to 12.30 in the afternoon for New York and East Coasters, 1.30 in the afternoon for those who may be in Sao Paulo, Brazil, 5.30 in the afternoon for those in London and the UK, 6.30 for those who may be in Stockholm, Sweden, or Berlin, Germany, 7.30 in the evening for those who may be in Moscow. Then, in the later hours of the night, it'll be 1.30 a.m. in the morning the next day on the 16th, for those in Seoul, South Korea, and Tokyo. And finally, another late night hour, 2.30 in the morning on the 16th for those who may be in Sydney, Australia. So set your timers and alarms accordingly, depending on where you are in the world. We'll be seeing a kind of early start here for COD next, though surprisingly, when we go back and examine everything, that's actually when we saw last year's Vanguard reveal event happen, that Battle of Verdansk LTM in Warzone. That actually started at 9.30 a.m. as well. So didn't realize that at the time, but going back and seeing it, it's not too far out of the ordinary, but again, also not our normal 10 a.m. Pacific time that we normally see things to kick off. But where to watch is the next biggest question because this actually might be the most available we've ever seen for a multiplayer reveal at any point. Of course, the Call of Duty socials will be broadcasting it, the Call of Duty YouTube, Twitch, those are guaranteed, but the big socials of the Call of Duty YouTube account and the Twitch channel are where you can find it definitively, but this will be more of a curated broadcast, jumping from perspective to perspective because unlike other straightforward reveals we've seen in the past, this is actually utilized in the community aspect for a reveal because a big focal point promoted by COD is that this is being revealed through creators in the scene and the content space. Myself, I was actually one of those lucky ones who was invited out to the event I'll be in Los Angeles for COD next, and we'll be live possibly here on the YouTube channel. I'm kind of leaning towards a live stream here on the channel for the first time in years, just so it's more focused and centralized for everybody who may be interested in it. But if we end up deciding against it, we'll also be live over on Twitch, definitely. So there's no doubt we'll be live. It's just a matter of where we'll be live. So from here, starting at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, we'll be able to chat one-on-one -on -one about Modern Warfare 2, answer any and all questions you may have in real time, showcase any of those new features that you want to see and have it showcased live. Things like the Gunsmith and all the new system upgrades to that, all the new weapons, all the attachments, perks, streaks, maps, and of course, in-game gameplay showing off all the new mechanics. You'll be able to see it firsthand from my perspective here on the channel and or over on Twitch. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of it, make sure you subscribe to the channel here as well as maybe follow on Twitch, linked in the description below. Very, very excited to get hands-on gameplay and share it all with you guys, again, in real time. So if you want to learn about the reveal through my perspective, that's where I'll be. Of course, there'll be about 200 plus other content creators and streamers out there. So if you don't find my stream to be quite what you wanted, no worries. There's bound to be other great streams out there that you can find on Twitch and perhaps even YouTube. Some of my friends, Ink Slasher, Exclusive Ace, Noisy Butters, and so many more, they'll be there. They'll all be live showing off the game. So you'll have ample amount of creators to choose from. But if none of those, again, work for you, we'll see the Call of Duty socials jumping from perspective to perspective, giving a mix of everything if you don't want to support any creator directly. Realistically, there's hundreds of outlets on where you can watch this reveal. It actually just might be that most accessible reveal we've ever seen. Now, that said, we know when and where to watch it, but what can we expect 
to see. Well, officially speaking, Call of Duty Next is described as bringing the following from the reveal blog. What the imminent future of Call of Duty will look like, including more details regarding Modern Warfare 2, information on the next Call of Duty Warzone, and more on the mobile version of Call of Duty Warzone, also known as Project Aurora, including a full Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer reveal, a multitude of your favorite streamers at the event, playing the games in real time, and redacted information and surprises. So, some of that pretty straightforward. The Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer portion, that goes for everything. We know there's going to be hands-on gameplay for Modern Warfare 2. That's what all the content creators and streamers are going to be brought out for. So we're going to be seeing everything from the perspective of simply booting up the game all the way to the end game sequences, or at least all of that from the beta build. That build that we'll be playing out in LA is the exact same build that will be available for PlayStation users who pre-order the game or have an early access code the very following day to start the PlayStation early access beta. But when I say every Everything. That includes all the multiplayer weapons, attachments, maybe even variants like the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault, since that'll be usable in the beta for those that end up having the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2 pre-ordered, all multiplayer maps, all multiplayer modes, all streaks, field upgrades, perks, equipment, lethals, tacticals, gameplay mechanics like the new dolphin diving mechanic. We'll be able to see if slide canceling is indeed taken out of the game or not. Swimming in a multiplayer experience for the first time in an Infinity Ward title, ledge hanging, dynamic vehicle gameplay, quite literally everything you can think of, it will be there and we'll be showing it off all for you. Probably one of the favorites that I'm looking forward to the most is the gunsmith. I'm really curious to see how that all works out and we can break it down in real time together. So multiplayer, absolutely we're going to see everything here with that one. Warzone 2 in Warzone Mobile is mentioned, but we don't know the extent of that just yet. Publicly stated, it says reveals and more information, but does that mean we'll only end up getting trailers for Warzone 2, showing off teasers and such like that, or will there be possible gameplay? That's still an unanswered question at the moment, but it is something you can expect. And then the final thing, redacted information. This part, of course, is speculation because it doesn't give us what we actually are going to be seeing. But as we've talked about in the past, my best guess, DMZ. We've seen everything else associated with Modern Warfare 2 already publicly acknowledged. We would have we would have seen this described as campaign, multiplayer, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile. All of those projects independently have been mentioned. But DMZ is that one thing that we have not seen from an official standpoint. We only saw leaked images of this and we saw it mentioned in the rating for Warzone 2 on the official ESRB website. But DMZ, they're keeping it close to the chest, and I'm really curious to see if that's what we'll end up seeing revealed as that redacted information. Again, that being the Escape from Tarkov looter shooter extraction based game mode, which could absolutely bring something unique to the Call of Duty formula with this game as a sort of extra mode. But that said, that is everything to expect in terms of timing, where to watch it, and everything you can end up expecting to see in this reveal overall. So hopefully this helped you out, answered some questions at all, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. Before we do though, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage. I've talked about them for over a year and a half now at this point, going on two years, and I will still swear by them. If you're working at a PC or in an office or something like that, or you're just looking at a screen of any kind for prolonged periods of time a day, you may already know the effects of blue light. I've had trouble combating it over the years, this whole YouTube creator life. I'm not partying every single day. Instead, it's probably pretty boring. It's about 8 to 12 hours a day looking at my monitor, either noting and scripting, researching for videos, commentating, getting gameplay, playing the game, all that kind of stuff. So over the years, blue light absolutely has taken its toll on me. Gamer Advantage, though, is absolutely advantage of espresso, head and shoulders better than the generic pair that you'll find on Amazon. I've used generic pairs off Amazon, and they don't even come anywhere close. Gamer Advantage lenses are comfortable, durable, and lightweight, making them a great choice for all day use, and their clinically proven lenses help more than I can personally convey. I swear by these guys, they've got all the technical breakdowns, all the science behind it on their sites. So if you guys would like to learn more, head on over to the link in the description below, and if you guys would like to pick something up, use code ESPRESSO at checkout for 10% off your entire order. But that said, that's what we're going to call it. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, again, this proved insightful. Hopefully, it helped you out in some way, shape, or form. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most out of COD next, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2 ahead of the reveal, beta, and launch. But thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. We're just a few days away from COD next, so stay frosty, take care, and peace.